Hello, if you joined me a few minutes ago, I made a batch of red beans and rice in my quick cooker. It's cooking up right now, and now I'm making some fried catfish to go with it. Seems like a fun combination for a Cajun meal tonight, so I'm gonna show you a, a catfish filet that's ready, and then I'll show you how to put it together. So um, you don't have to deep fry it to have it have that great texture. So I've got a single filet here that um, that I've cooked and look at that it's crispy and it's gonna be wonderful so I'm gonna just take it off and we'll make a batch together and then we'll make the um, tartar sauce to go with it so I'm gonna set this rack aside since I've got one that is clean and ready to go so come on over here let's take a look it's pretty simple to do um, I've got some catfish just like this, and I would rather, I don't make this very often, but I would rather have the catfish fillets than the catfish nuggets that you sometimes can find. So in here, let me tell you what's in here. All this is is buttermilk and some Cajun seasoning. And over here, I've got a mixture of, I'm using gluten-free flour, cornmeal, and a bit of salt. So just give it a little stir. Mix up your dry ingredients first, and then it'll make it easier to mix up your wet. So I made the other one before bringing you all on, so that's why there was a little bit made up ahead of time. Okay, pretty simple so far, right? You're gonna take your rack, and this is a clean rack. I've already spritzed it with some oil, so it's all prepped. We're gonna get the catfish into the buttermilk, and um, I bet some of you make fried catfish sometimes, and um, have you ever tried doing it in the air fryer? It is so simple. Um, catfish is really meaty and it's generally pretty inexpensive so it's easy to get and um, it will help round out any meal with red beans and rice if you want something extra okay so this is pressed into your flour mixture and we're gonna dredge it on the other side so you just want to make sure everything is mixed up and um, not mixed up but it's well covered I'll just pick it up lay it on here and we'll do the same thing with the other and then i'll show you my quick way of making tartar sauce now it's not the kind of tartar sauce that's officially tartar sauce like i know there's recipes but i'll show you the quick hack way okay let's see here i need a little bit more of the flour mixture our coating trays interlock so it makes it really nice but then i want to get it all make sure everything's covered Fingers are getting all gooey. Okay, here we go. So make sure it's all flat. Um, let me wash my hands real quick. We're gonna give it a little bit of a spritz and it'll help it crisp up some. And we'll get this out of the way. Okay, so you're gonna take your oil spritzer and just a fine mist on top of your uh, catfish. Now I'm pressing air into it to have it create its own aerosol. I've just got um, olive oil in here and I wanna spritz it pretty well. That's still gonna be a lot less oil than you would have if you were making it in a deep fat fryer. Okay, so let's go ahead and stick in. Because I'm just doing these two fillets, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the top rack and our air fryer has multiple settings. So we're gonna use the air fryer setting tonight. Just turn it to air fry, press in. I'm gonna reduce it to just 10 minutes. That's all it takes. It doesn't have to preheat, so it's gonna be done in 10 minutes. It's really, really quick. So if you wanna make like catfish po' boys, things like that, you can really have it in no time. All right, you're ready for my hack. When I am needing some tartar sauce, I just do a combination of mayo and some sweet relish. Now, I don't know if that's a thing everywhere, but when we were kids, that's how we used to do it. So that's how I still do it if I just need some quick tartar sauce. I don't even measure it. I just kind of grab a little spoonful of each, mix it up. If it looks right, it is right. <laughs> I'm gonna add just a touch more. I'm sure it can make it way nicer. And I know you can buy tartar sauce, but we don't need it that often. So I would rather just mix it up as I need it. Okay, so here's that finished piece of catfish. 
just add a little bit um, on this side. And there we go. No time flat. We've got fried catfish out of the air fryer. If you are interested in finding out more about my air fryer, just shoot me a message. Um, it is an amazing product. I use it just about every day and um, I'll be happy to tell you more about it. Help you get it in your kitchen for half price by hosting. It comes in the starter kit if you'd like to become a consultant or I can show you how to purchase it and have it in your kitchen in just a few days. I hope you'll enjoy trying this at home. Take care.